We've got a central angle of a circle, and we're given the measure of that angle in degrees. We also have the radius length of the circle. With this information, how can we find the length of the arc S cut by the central angle? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. In the next lesson, we'll go over the same problem, but for a central angle given in radians. So check that out. I'll leave a link in the description if that's what you're interested in but today we're assuming the angle is in degrees. Imagine for a moment that our central angle was 180 degrees, so it looked something like this, just like a diameter of the circle. So again, here we've got a central angle of 180 degrees, then what would the arc length cut by this angle be? Well, clearly, the central angle of 180 degrees is half of the total amount of degrees, 360, in a circle. And certainly, the length of the arc cut by that angle would have to be one half of the circumference of the circle because the angle goes halfway around the entire circumference of the circle. And then if we wanted to write this in terms of the radius length of the circle, the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So this is our arc length for the particular case where the central angle is 180 degrees. Notice what we're actually doing in this expression. All we're doing is multiplying the portion of the circle that's cut by the angle, in this case one half because it's a 180 degree angle, and then we multiply that by the circumference of the circle. If the angle was 60 degrees, for example, well that would be one sixth of the circle, one sixth of 360. Thus, it would cut an arc that's one sixth of the circumference. With that reasoning, we can arrive at the general solution to this problem. We need to take the measure of our central angle, theta, which remember is in degrees, and divide this by the total number of degrees in the circle, which is 360 degrees. And this ratio of the central angle to the total degree measure of the circle gives us the portion of the circle that is cut by the angle. So all we have to do next to arrive at the arc length of the circle is multiply by the circumference of the circle. And that is how we find our arc length s. And then again, we might want to replace the circumference c with an expression in terms of the radius. So that would be 2 pi times the radius. And that's all there is to it, so let's see a specific example. Let's say our central angle theta is equal to 80 degrees, and suppose the radius of our circle is, let's say, 3 centimeters. Then, to find the length of the arc cut by that central angle in this circle, we just have to take the measure of the central angle, which in this case is 80 degrees, Divide that by the total degree measure of the circle to find the portion of the circle that our angle is cutting, and then multiply by the circumference, which is 2 pi times the radius. In this case, the radius is 3 centimeters. And this will give us our arc length s, so let's do some simplification. With 80 degrees over 360 degrees, we can cancel out the degrees unit, and we can cancel out a factor of 10. That will leave us with 8 over 36. And then simplifying this further, 8 and 36 both have a factor of 4. 8 is equal to 2 times 4, and 36 is equal to 9 times 4. Then, canceling out those common factors of 4, we see that we are left with 2 over 9. So that's fully reducing this fraction. Then all we have left is multiplying that by 2 pi times 3 centimeters. So this expression is telling us that our central angle cuts an arc that is 2 ninths of the total circumference. Continuing to simplify, order doesn't matter in multiplication, so we can move these factors around however we please. What we'll do is bring these two factors, 2 and 3 centimeters, into our numerator with 2. So we'll have 2 times 2 times 3 centimeters, and all of this is over that denominator of 9, and it's getting multiplied by pi. Then finally, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and then that's getting multiplied by 3 centimeters and divided by 9. 9, of course, is equal to 3 times 3, so we can cancel out a factor of 3. 
That will leave us with 4 centimeters in the numerator and just 3 in the denominator. So we've got 4 centimeters over 3 multiplied by pi. And then lastly, we typically like to have units at the end of our expression. So we could rewrite this as 4 thirds pi centimeters. Really, we could have just left centimeters at the end of the expression all the way up until this step where we get our final answer. So we see in a circle that has a radius of 3 centimeters, a central angle with a measure of 80 degrees will cut an arc that has a length of 4 thirds pi centimeters. And if you were to plug this into a calculator and round to two decimal places, it's approximately 4.19 centimeters. I like to leave things in terms of pi, but it's pretty common that you'll be asked to plug it into a calculator and round to some number of decimal places. So that's all there is to it. Remember the reasoning that we used to arrive at this formula, and I don't think you'll forget it. Given a central angle theta in degrees and the radius of a circle to find the length of the arc cut by that central angle, we first divide the measure of the central angle by 360 degrees, the total degree measure in a circle. This tells us the portion of the circle that is cut by this central angle. Then we just have to multiply that ratio by the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi times the radius and that will give us the length of our arc. So that's the key to solving these sorts of problems. One last thing before we go. Remember that the radius length of a circle is constant, so it doesn't matter which radius you are given the length of. You might not be given the radius length of your central angle right here, and maybe instead you're given the radius length of some other radius, but that works just the same way because the radius length is constant. So if you're given a situation like this, just as a sort of trick question, remember that if this is the radius length of the circle, it's the radius length of the circle. Simple as that. Finally, here's a practice problem to try on your own. We've got a circle with a radius length of 12 meters and a central angle with a measure of 120 degrees. Find the length of the arc cut by the angle. Let me know what you get down in the comments and I'll leave the solution in the description. So I hope this video helped you understand how to find the length of an arc cut by a central angle in a circle. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description.